When those two met, they were like two asteroids on a collision course who would change each other's lives for better forever. And George may not know it now, but as someone who was once in his shoes at my parents' wedding, I know for a fact what an unbelievable role model, inspiration and hero you are to George. I cry at happy bits. One of the things that I didn't realize, I, I found really strange, was that people would come up to me and go, oh, you're getting married in three weeks? I'd be like, yeah, and they're like, you know, are you nervous? Are you scared? And I never understood that question because today wasn't about being nervous or being scared. It was just about, it was just about committing to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. And so there was nothing to be nervous about or scared or worried. And when I saw you walking down the aisle, any butterflies just disappeared. So thank you. Alisa, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Aaron. Thank you so much for making Elisa happy. Thank you for being so kind, caring and supportive. Thank you for being such a fantastic Daddy Aaron for George. It, it means so much. Thank you. But I will always remember your face when I ask you to marry me. And I will always remember the day after as well. When you woke up not talking about being a fiance or being engaged or being madly in love, but instead woke up talking about another man, David. Uh, which I should add a bit of context to. David was actually dressed as Chewbacca during this escapade. And um, when we first met, Ellie said, if I ever get a hug from Chewbacca, I'll be able to die happy. So um, with some magic from Tim, we made it happen. From this hacker, 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 hacker. Don't settle for him when you could get with Chewbacca. Chewbacca.